Hey Warriors, welcome back. You know, narcissists do have their place. Hear me out, come on. One, it helped open your eyes to the level of stubbornness and ego that you were operating in. Even for those of you who thought you were operating at a decent level of humility and awareness. Narcissists are for fun, for the short term, not the long term. They're not the ride or die. They're the hit it and quit it, the pump and dump, the life of the party. You know, the ones that say, oh, I have more guy friends and girlfriends because, I, you know, I, I just don't get along with them. always get along with the opposite, always finds ways to entangle themselves. Warriors, people that need to get along so well, people pleasing, are your shapeshifters. When I tell you narcissists have their place, understand something, in a very delicate dance of life, They provide the obstacle course for those in this journey to either become aware or become used. When you begin to really see in this awareness, and this is what I mean, not through rose-colored glasses, as they say, or the love bomb. You see, now you operate differently in this awareness in that now what you see are the beauty and appearance of all everything made genuinely by the Creator is beautiful. And you can appreciate that. The hollowness inside. The skin suits walking around totally unaware, existing in survival mode, materialism. Always looking to upgrade, never settling. What you begin to see are a shitload or a shit ton or a buttload of beautiful distractions. Warriors, the Hoover's gonna be real. For many of you, you're gonna start seeing people wanting to get attached to you that are total strangers. Wanting to tell their story of victimhood. And some of them may, are, may, may be victims. Understand something. What you don't understand is not knowing whether they were a narcissist playing on another narcissist and one just outdone the other. You don't have that ability. Look, skilled, in the skilled offices of therapists, people that do this for a living, law enforcement gets sidetracked and thrown off. These people aren't people to be fucked with. Depending on their disparity, you will be hoovered. And like I said, even by total strangers. Y y have y'all not noticed the lack of stock in the store shelves lately? Now, not only that, but have you started noticing that now what's on the store shelves is damaged products, open boxes, retaped? because there's low inventories. Now, I'm not saying this to put panic in your asses, but what I am saying is, be aware logically of what's going on and prepare. Now's the time to minimize. Look, if you start pinching on yourself now and make that your new challenge, your new normal, and minimize, when all this shit hits the fan, you're already there. You went from saving a shitload, minimizing early, 
to saving very little, but still living a normalized, minimal lifestyle. You're not going to feel that pinch. Try and get debt free as soon as possible. Warriors, I'm no economist. I'm not a doctor. Hell, I'm not even a therapist, just a coach, a life coach. A guy, been through a shitload. And just wants to share life shortcuts with you. And you can apply what applies. What I really, really want you to understand is how to motivate yourself to see the obvious and think logically first because you've been trained and you've normalized letting empathy and feelings to guide your decision making. Look, narcissists want you to be happy. They just don't want you to be happier without them than you were with them. And if you're miserable or destitute, they like that even better. But for you to make it and have a glow up like you are or like you're going to, well, they're just not going to be able to tolerate in their mind that they invested so much time with you and you never made shit of yourself. And now all of a sudden without them, you become something that they feel entitled to because they made you who you are. Now, deep, deep down inside, they know that all this did was validate the simple fact that they were in your way the whole time. They were the reason why you couldn't make it where you are now. So, warriors. Don't digress. Narcissists are dealing with the loss of you in different ways. They cope with addictions. They cope with throwing themselves in harm's way, causing themselves harm. And better yet, if you do this one thing, it's like narc kryptonite. This one thing. Remain silent and absent. You see, there isn't anything you can do or I can do physically to hurt a narcissist. Well, there are a number of things, but understanding primarily, giving them the time they need to self-reflect on the bullshittery that they've done, they will cause more hurt to themselves than anyone can cause to them because they will need to cope again. And they don't cope by dealing with it, they cope by putting a Band-Aid on a gaping ass wound. So as a distraction for you so that you don't start coping the same damn way, I'll tell you what, I'll challenge you to something. Just hear me out, come on. Yeah, it benefits me, of course. Instead of going out partying, I'm going to save you from a hangover. I'm going to save you from, say, the possibility of trying to figure out what's your name? Or what's his name? Did I bring my car? Where did I leave my car? I'll tell you what you do. You make a donation. You support this channel. Or other content creators, for that matter. And what you would have spent on a hangover, on the shoulda, coulda, wouldas, now you can thank me later for saving you the heartache. Eh, call it tuition. <laughs> Warriors. There comes a time where we gotta laugh about what we've learned in our journey, in our path. You know, some of you say, Man, if I had it to do again, I would love to be in my 20s. And I'm like, hell no. I had a rough, rough childhood, rough journey. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't have any regrets. Well, not a lot of them. 
but you know there are a lot of first times that, that I had badass memories of and fucking laughable laughable moments you know like first time driving a car learning to drive a tractor 18 wheeler learning to surf learning to swim learning how to fight fires Fuck, I almost killed myself one time. First time I ever heard a queef. You know, a front butt fart. Almost ran through a double pane, double French door, let it glass from head to toe doors. Because I thought I broke the puss. First time I ever heard it. Or that and seen it. Well, not proud of everything. But when you experience it before you hear about it that's a twist of fate right there so it's always nice to be able to receive wisdom from fellow warriors about the warnings so when it does happen your reaction is a little bit different you ain't trying to kill yourself to get out the way warriors <coughs> maybe we need to provide each other or the world a shift of attention you know I was watching a YouTube video I think it was Joe Rogan watching uh, or, or interviewing a scientist talking about the different cat catastrophic changes that the world has experienced pretty much by getting hit by a chunk of rock out of space the media if we know this is a very strong possibility of it happening again, I, channel, I, I, channel, I challenge all the world leaders to come together to their logical sense and all the beautiful, genius minds come together to find a way to blast rocks out of the sky before we get reinvented again. How about trying to save humanity, the human race, instead of busying ourselves trying to hurt each other? How about that? Intellectually, we have the capacity as a world order. We have the fortitude of thought, a higher intelligence level than animals that just exist, and a need to survive comes natural to both. And all we needed to do was communicate better, collaborate with respectful, cooperation Warriors it's been a badass walk appreciate it thank you so much for your support and I'm going to take you up on that challenge go to Amazon Chico's Amazon wishlist link dot com I just made that part of dot com no, it's somewhere down there and don't forget to subscriptions hit the subscriptions button and uh, appreciate your support. Anything you do to help keep this channel going, share, like, cut, paste, move over, talk, talk. <laughs> I appreciate it. Get out there. We're reaching more people. It's getting harder for narcissists. They can't reinvent themselves fast enough asphyxiating nowadays you ain't got to teach a dog shit it's rubbing its own nose and its own piss I just need you to be a better spectator and pretend you didn't see it all the time sometimes you just got to pretend like it didn't happen and keep walking <laughs> I know it's hard but it gets easier in time and no two are alike. <laughs>
Oh my gosh. Now get out there with your new seeing eyes. Own it. You got it like that. And don't forget, work hard, live hard, but laugh harder. It's narcissists. They have to play like pretend. You see, narcissists convinced you that they were the ride or die. They were the hit it and quit it. Stop catching feelings for dumpster divers. You better than that. Now get back in your lane. Shh. Ain't gonna hear it. No excuses. Now get out there, kick ass and take names like you have been. It's never goodbye. It's always until next time. Namaste, warriors. Jesse, what are you doing today? We're gonna skydive today. We're gonna skydive. Leap of it. <laughs> hey, that's what this is. Doing it for the tribe, the that's... warrior tribe. Do you know how high we're going? Did 14, they tell you? 14,500 Close. 14,500 feet, yep. And then we're going to be right. falling at? A high rate of speed. <laughs> very fast. We're going to be falling very fast. <laughs> we're going to be falling be at 100, high. 120 miles an hour. Sweet. Have you ever gone that fast before? No, I have not. Okay, are you ready to go that fast? I'm ready. Okay. We're going to do it today. <laughs> you got my back. Yep. Oh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get your face, but you know, your TI will have your back. All right. All what right. made you want to skydive? What What brought you here today? Facing fear. Yeah? Are you afraid of Facing heights? Facing fear, head on. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> I'm afraid of not trying new hey, opportunities. There you go. I'm afraid of living in the woulda, shoulda, coulda, and I'm not going to do it. Lead and live by example. There you go. You heard it here first from Jesse. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Woo! Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And on we'll go. Through the wastelands, through the highways. Till my shadow turns to sun rays. And on Life alone